So you've decided to create video content for social media or for YouTube. That's great. So you've got your script, your filming equipment, everything you need. You've got everything you need, right? Well, there is one more important thing that you should also consider. What way will you, will you design your filming area? How will you, as they say in the theatre, how will you dress the space, the, the mise-en-scene, as they say? It is important to make your video background look nice, as it shows you put effort into your content, into how it will look, and you address detail. Or you pay attention to detail, or you pay attention to detail, sorry. Detail. Now, if you are a millionaire filmmaker with, enough, with lots of money to buy a mansion, you could just simply use a software and look like you make it look like you are filming from a desert island with sunny beaches, or from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. But sadly, not everyone has that luxury. So quite simply, you can film even from your own home and still have a very lovely background. Now, one important thing I will say, that when you are filming, make sure that the space you are filming in has perfect lighting. 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 Now, you could just use lots of expensive equipment. Now, of course, of course, as I said before, we do not everyone will have that luxury. Now, now, from what I've seen of some content creators, they do use some lighting and, in all honesty, it's something I'm thinking of getting into because even though at times when I am filming in the lovely summery weather it's bright, it's still cloudy and the footage doesn't come out the way I want it to. So, um, so equipment is something I'm considering, but as I said before, for a light, but as I said before, you can still film from where you are with just your camera and still make it look good. So, so of course, so, so remember, the space you're filming in should have perfect lighting. Lighting is key. Now, of course, we are in the middle of May, coming into June. June. So the sun will be out, it'll be warm, it'll be hot, and there'll be plenty of natural light. Anyway, for filming in a good space, here's, here are some of my top tips. Number one, I would recommend that you film during the day as there'll be plenty of good natural light and this will be perfect for the quality of your video. Now, filming during the evening, that can depend. I find that if I try to film in the evening you, with, with light fixtures or light bulbs, I find that my footage comes out either looking too light or too dark or too overexposed. So it might depend on the kind of light bulbs you have. Maybe there's different types, I'm not sure. I'm not a, a light bulb technological expert. But, but I would recommend that you film during the day as you have plenty of access to natural light, which will mean good video quality. So that's what I'd recommend. Number two, the space you're filming in. Make sure you find a good space with plenty of area, with plenty of space for you to try, for you to experiment with camera angles and get some good close-ups of yourself. Although, don't go too close. Uh, this is too close. And finally, make your video background look nice, but don't overdo it. Anyway, here is my advice on how you can make your video background look great for filming. Firstly, the background you choose to film in can be a nice, quiet, can be a nice, simple space. Now, as you can see here, I am filming in, filming in my bedroom, which has a nice white wall, which is great for filming. And sometimes the beauty of having a plain background means you can add stuff into the background. Although, as they have said time and time again, less is more. So if you do choose to put stuff in the background, don't overdo it. So please, 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 just, just, just don't do this. Right, I need to put lots of stuff in this background, in the background of this video to show off everything about me. Right, let me see. Um, right, I will put in this laptop. I will put in my, I will put my laptop in the background because that shows I know how to use technology. I will put this, um, thing in the background because it shows I look organized. Then I will put this uh, nice table in the background because it shows I am really crafty. And I'll put this teddy bear in the background too because that shows I'm a sensitive guy. Um, oh! Okay. I'll put these boxing gloves in the background. That makes me look sporty. And last but not least, I'll put this guitar in the background. That makes me look like I like that, because then that shows people I like music. There. There. I've got a great background. Now I'm all ready to film video content. No, no, no. That is not the way to do it. Too much stuff in the background will make it look noisy and cluttered and overall just really distracting for the viewer. Remember, they are looking and listening at you. 
Like, I've seen some videos where there's like bright posters or really bright stuff in the background and I find it really distracting. Remember, they are looking and listening at you. You, you don't want to distract them with a pile of clutter in the background. Like, they, they don't want to see your grandfather clock from 1945 or, or your great aunt's porcelain china porcelain flowery vase from northeast of who knows where. Remember, they are looking and listening at you. This is your star moment. Like I said, keep it simple. Keep it minimal. But if you do want to put some things in the background, here are some ideas on tips on how you can do that and not distract the viewer. Firstly, an idea is to put something in the background that is relevant to your video, something relevant to the type of content you will be talking about. Maybe, um, well, I suppose an example I can maybe provide is some LinkedIn content creators or other video content creators, maybe we'll put in the background maybe one or two books, maybe self-help books or books that will inspire them. Sort of it's relevant to what they're talking about or shows how they are inspired in what they do. So for me, another example I can give you relevant to me is I will be doing a video about my top 10 favourite films. So I will be doing this video beside my DVD shelf as it will give the video that filmic cinematic look and theme. However, if you do want to put something in the background and instill a positive feeling or create a positive vibe, you could put something in the background, maybe something minimal, maybe like, maybe a pot plant or maybe a picture, although maybe a picture might be too distracting. So maybe a pot plant thing might be a nice idea, add a little variety and still a bit of positivity, but something not too distracting. Again, you can always keep it still if you want to, but if you do want to dress the background, remember, don't put in too much clutter in the background. Don't distract the audience. They are looking at you. Don't distract them. And last but not least, make sure you look good for the camera too. There. That's better. You know, I should just do a whole video about what you should wear for the camera. Uh, but that's content for another day, I think. Anyway, ladies, anyway, everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you, as content creators or video makers or whatever kind of content creators you are, find this video helpful and beneficial. Anyway, thank you very much again, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all in the next video.